Hello and what's up you guys, in this video I will show you how to set up Character Customization Pro in Unity. So first you need to download it, it from Asset Store. You need to download Start Assets, Third Person in Unity. Go to Asset Store and download it. And download the adventure character asset in unity we use it in unity all right so let's start let's go to unity in unity i configure it to two by three here here here, here i prefer this so uh window we can go to general console and put this here all right so let's uh, import the assets in unity right now go to window package manager go to your assets in this case my assets import the adjacent to character asset import here import go to the import button all right let's wait a while all right go to import all right if he did a uh, free asset third person not appears here go to load all right let's find load again where is he here you start asset third person Go to import. Unique ask you to install upgrade. Choose install upgrade. Uh, Unique ask to restart the project. Just restart. Yes. All right. Uh, now we need to. Unity will restart. So I. Unity. Just restart the unity okay guys i restart the unity and go to start after third person again and import start upgrade upgrade again then import all right it's all done then you can you can you can import the finally you can import the character customization pro from so asset. i just imported we have um two scenes demo a different two character demo demo and rpg character demo these are not a sample here so let us import it all right it's done so let us try the the samples we have two samples here the first sample is the adventure character we use and uh, this assets to try our asset and we have it sorry we have the character demo uh, sample here and apg character demo here all right let's try this first go to the demo scenes click here and choose the lobby demo you can port tpm tmp essentials here all right just close it. let's see how it's uh in action let's see this in action play maxi go to the play button all right loading okay we have the character here from the adventure character asset in here you can choose the cap the hat here really we have the mask here another type of mask we have the t-shirts here and jacket uh, amazing jacket here another uh, uh, t-shirt here 
we have a paint here you can add in character and we have the boots here all right so let's start the game also you use the third pressure character or not work game sense code mode be loaded it has to be added to the build settings i forget it so let's do it go to the games the game demo scene click it two times here go to the file build settings and add open scenes here all right close it go back to the lobby demo scene and play button let's try here okay i choose this mask and jacket or and jacket here pants boots all right our characters looks nice and start all right in game here appears with the clothes shoes all right we use the third person characters assets to compose the movement of characters let's try another look for for the our character go to play a game now i uh, don't choose mask choose the jacket and paint here and no boots our light works very nice the character here with um, our clothes we, we choose all right perfecto let's try another sample rpg character demo go to the game demo go to the file build settings and add open scenes here we have the game demo for the first sample and the game demo one for the second sample all right go back to the lobby demo for from the red R rpg character demo and go to the play button let's try this rpg character customization demo here all right we have a realm mat here all right very nice chest plate here folds here nice you can choose another one i prefer this and bracelets here and the boots here very nice go to the start all right we have here our character here with our uh, very nice works perfect you need uh, the character needs uh, have uh, all meshes separately this art lets you take compatible compatible character from the asset saw that have a separate skin at separate skin at mesh renders and mix and match the parts for your prototypes until you are ready to use custom characters and it will work with your custom character that have a separate skin at mesh renders so you need to separate skin at mesh render all right let's try again without helmet another chest plate here here another here and no no i don't have this okay here let's try all right we have uh, the character with the path with we choose so let's see how this really works in here we have the scene demo we have a lobby camera press f all right 
we have the lobby canvas or game object and here we have the canvas manager to control the scene transition for example when i press the start button he shows the game scene here and control these panels all these things and we have the main script colored character custom here we set up all the sprites we have the, these sprites here and the sprites uh, then appears here when we choose for example let's play it each sprite of this are really uh, prefab in UIX folder. We have the other sprites, okay? All is uh, are the prefabs here, and we have the textures here. We use here. And we use the prefabs to choose here, for example, and go back to lobby canvas. You can set up according to you feel your all character, all right? Your all small pieces here. You can choose and change later. We have the cloud theme buttons. This these buttons here. If he has here the first button, click F here, for example, you can set up your our buttons, your all buttons, have the, this button, another button here, clothing buttons here, for example, you can set up this later. We have the button items. We have uh, just three because we don't have uh, many parts to change. One, two, three. Just select here. Here, button, button item. Here, we have the three buttons here. And uh, we have the method in any button. We have the method on click associated to the actor custom and choose custom easy method with button index we have the button index 0 1 and 2 here to change the clothes go back to the lobby canvas okay we have the select it image to change this image according to the button another item image here we have the sprites we have prefabs helmet for example chest plate we have these sprites prefabs really sprites from prefabs and we have the meshes also for example the helmet here we have the, our character for example press F okay all character have the all parts separated here for example all skin at mesh render only works if you have the skin at mesh renders with your, your character parts all right we have the brass here really you just activate and this enable and disable this part via script all right so all the parts are here just disable or enable according with the button press here all right and in the character custom script we set up all these parts here empty is just this button is nothing is a I just create a game empty game object and rename to the empty for example and set up here all this, these parts for example chest plate have an empty here pauldrons have an empty 
and another part of our character here i just enable disable here via a script and this browsers i set up here i sign here greaves here and configure another type of clothes here you can add you can customize this script also too all right let's check it out the another sample here for example here we have the sum structure um here we have the close button I, I this is another buttons i just changed the skin of the buttons here we have the another sprite for example sprite paints we have the none here and the paints it's an image here from the paints to appears here we have our character right here the main fuel and we have the separated meshes here in the character just we just use the script to activate and disactivate this skin this clothes here in here on character custom we have the for example hat it's a mask really but uh, i use hat here it's a sprite we have the hat real real red here for example this mesh we activate enable and disable here via script it's very easy to use to configure it here uh, any question you can look for me via email t-shirt here you have the two, two types of t-shirts we have a t-shirt here you can activate and disactivate a t-shirt here it's very easy to use this so let's check it out paints for example no this is sprite we have the paints for example here main paints on shoes here you can refer uh, you can add another uh, clothes here jacket for example you can configure what you want the the way you, if you want we have the rest another skits if you have another character you can configure this here it's very easy to use hat jacket and shoes t-shirts pants this is guys um thank you for watching this video and uh, any question i will be here to help you thank you and i see you in the next time